Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to use our SSL certificate to secure our website. To do that, let's go to the management console. Under services, select EC2. Then let's go to our application load balancer. Then select the listener tab. Click add listener. We are going to change it to HTTPS. Then we are going to click add action. It is going to be forward to. On this drop down, we are going to select our target group. Then the security policy is going to be the same. For the SSL certificate, select the drop down. And I'm going to select my JupyterLabs.com certificate. And I'm going to click save. Now let's try to access our website. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to try to access it again. This time I'll type HTTPS and my website name. So once I type HTTPS forward slash www.jupyterlabs.com, I'm going to press enter. And now you can see that our site is secure. When I click on that lock icon, it is saying connection is secure. And this is how you use the SSL certificate to secure your website. And let's try one more thing. Let's try to access our site without typing the HTTPS before it. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type www.jupyterlabs.com and I'll press enter. And you can see that our site is secure. So whether we enter the HTTPS before it or we don't, our site is still going to be secure. What if we type just jupyterlabs.com and our site is also secure if we type jupyterlabs.com. And that is how you secure your site with an SSL certificate. In the next lecture, we are going to be creating auto-scaling groups. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.